Warning. No beans were harmed during the making of this video. All of my shitty comments in this video are going to be about an amazing bean game. What do you mean no beans were harmed in this video? I'd say a hundred beans were killed in the making of this. NANI? <laughs> 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 Enjoy the video. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Bean review. What is going on guys? My name is Farlet and I have a brand new Bean Battles Guide for you today. This one is going to be how to weapons. Sort of a mini series I'm coming up with to help you guys get better at the game and get ready for the preseason duels tournament coming out on July 14th. That intro took like a couple hours to edit, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you do like this video, you know, drop a subscription or two if you don't mind. And yeah, let's get into this. So the way that we're gonna do this is simple. By the way, I'm not level 100, but it gave me the achievement. I, I, I don't know how that happened, it just gave me it, but whatever. We're going to go to the community hub. Now, if you click on this guide section over here and go down, there's a weapon tier list by Mr. Private. I don't know how to say that. If you go right here, he has a basic tier list of all the weapons in the game. And then here is explanations for why they are. So let's start right here with his S tiers. He says S tiers are Uzi and Rocket Launcher. Rocket Launcher is not allowed in the tournament, so we're only going to go over the Uzi. He says for this Uzi, the thing is a DPS machine. This thing has to be one of the top weapons in the game. Anytime you see a close gunfight, it's almost always two Uzis. And we will definitely be seeing that in the tournament. So, a way to use the Uzi, get up close and personal. If you have an enemy that's using a shotgun, run around the back and make sure he cannot get his clear shot. Shotgun users are going to be aiming down their sights, so if you can jump around them for shots and keep doing this, it'll be almost impossible for a shotgun user to land down their shot. This thing even melts at medium range, so if you see someone with an Uzi, back up and try and get some sort of high ground. Now on to the A tier. We're gonna talk about the R70. The reason I do not believe this would be an A tier is simply that it's a three shot and the fire rate of it is low. If I were to make my own tier list, I would bring this down to around a C or a D. If you are using the R70, the best thing to do is get as much range as possible. Next, we have the TM1000. Here's how I feel about this. The TM100 is a very solid weapon. Some people could consider it an A. I'm on the fence with that, however. Just because it's only being able to use in that close range, unlike the Uzi who can be close and medium range. So it's tough for me to put this in an A spot. A, maybe B, but we'll agree to disagree. Now we're on to the ASVEL. Asvel is good for many reasons. A built-in suppressor allows it to be hidden while taking and popping off shots of opponents. This is one that I'm also on the fence on. Yes, it has a built-in suppressor. Yes, this thing sometimes can absolutely melt medium to long ranges, but the problem is, is it's hip fire. See, if you're rocking something like an R70 or an Asvel, having this is your only auto can be a very big problem. First of all, with its low ammo, if someone's strafing running at you, that's gonna take a lot of shots. There's no way that the Asvel will be able to compete after shooting at one person. Maybe if you find two or three Asvels running around, definitely use. If you're only finding one in a game, I would stir away from this weapon. This would be more of a B, maybe even C class for me. I know that's about to trigger a lot of people out there, but I'm sorry, this weapon is not an A class weapon. Down to tier B, Revolver, M16, AK-47. So the Revolver. I believe this is in the correct place. It is a mini R70. Pros, same cons. As for the M16, this is where I kind of get on the fence, but not on the downside, but on the upside. This M16 can absolutely shred, and with the amount of ammo it does, it is a medium to long range killer. I just realized I can see my reflection right there. Only disadvantage is close range. You will need a shotgun or something for this which means holding an R70 and an M16 will get you absolutely melted from close range. The next one here is the AK. And now this is where I have to disagree with it heavily. I believe this is an A or even an S tier weapon. It's made second of two S tier weapons, and here is why I believe this. It's a glorified AK. Its hip fire is so low. The only thing that's a problem with it is the recoil, but the recoil pattern is so easy to master. It's just down and a little bit to the left. I realize now that when I do these hand motions and I say left, 
and your screen's going right, but whatever. That is its only argument against failure. This thing can go long, medium, and even close range. It can sometimes even beat the Uzi in close range if you hit all your shots. If you miss your shots, then yeah, you're gonna lose the gunfight. Like me, I miss all my shots. So maybe this isn't an execute for me. Find an AK, use it. I know I'm about to log on after this game, or after I put up this video, and I'm gonna go on and I'm about to see AK here, Uzi here, but you wanna not? It's my job to make the game a sweaty mess. You're welcome. Now on to the C tier, the pump and the grenade launcher. We are only going to be going over the pump. So the pump here, I believe, maybe can be a B, but I understand why it's here. The reason I say it maybe can be a B is if you're aiming in, this thing can be deadly, can take you down about 80 damage. Here's the problem. If you miss even a couple of those bullets, your damage will just be unregistered, something in like the 10 or 20 damage rate. Here's the thing too, the hip fire is absolutely atrocious. Hip firing will make the spread ginormous, but if you aim, the fire spread becomes a little smaller. I'm telling you, take an Uzi or AK over this weapon. But, I mean, hey, if you can aim it and hit your shots, then go ahead, what am I to say? I'm just the one and only Bean Battle YouTuber. Next, the Glock. This one is just a simple agreement for me here. Y'all know the Glock starter weapon has a fast fire rate if you have a fast trigger finger, but not a lot of damage. It deserves to be where it's at in this tier list. And finally, the F tier, the Ranger 12 and the laser gun. This is something that is kind of a toss up. The laser gun, the laser beam in game, it's garbage. It deserves to be here. You have to be one lucky person to hit a shot with that thing. The only thing now that even saves it is a glitch in the game that's when you can't hear it shooting. This thing is loud. Everybody knows where you're at when you're shooting this thing. It is an F tier and it should stay there. But now onto the Ranger. I believe this deserves to come up even a couple of tiers to the C tier. And my explanation for this would be a little bit patchy, but stay with me. I have seen some amazing players with some amazing aim and online scrims just destroy with the Ranger. If you hit your shots, and you keep your spread low, hip fire has less spread than the pump, which means you can hit more of your pellets. Or beam bullets. Let's call them beam bullets from now on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Basically, you want to rock the Uzi and you want to rock some long range weapon. This is going to be your best loadout. If you're playing in teams though, this might differ. Maybe you just want a short ranger who runs up and takes the shots while someone's sniping from behind. Anything else and good luck winning in the tournament, I guess. You do you. I mean, if someone can win the game and the final kill be with a Glock, I'll be surprised. And I don't know, but that's got to happen on the finals. You guys will see me on the finals July 14th. I will be your lead host, Spiral T, along with my friends Gorod and the official check. Don't forget our stream head who's running it all behind the scenes. He's an amazing dude. Us four are going to be the stream team. If you see me or anybody else in game... Yo, Spiral T's in here. That means MM is here. Wait, 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 who's in here? I meant to the baby. He's here. the cast. Spiral T, Spiral T dog. Who is that? Gerard. Oh, oh wait, wait, go. wait, guys. No, go, 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 those are the cast. No, yeah, no, go, 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 no, go, Gerard is in channel one. Gerard and Spiral T. <laughs>